Jack Webb and Kyle Winn and tipped rivalry weekend off prior to the men's game. First quarter, Yotes grab the lead when Liv Corngable spots Chloe Lamb in transition. She'll shred the net for three of her five points as USD leads 5-4 early. Later in the quarter, Jack's now leading by two when Maya Sellen spots a trailing Madison Vlostian and the freshman from Lennox buries three of her eight and State leads 12-7. Then late in the first half, South Dakota State now leading by eight when they use good ball movement. Sellen fires cross court to Sydney Stapleton. She'll cash in the triple. She added 11. SDSU leads by 11, 33 22. Final seconds of the half, Lamb's going to force the loose ball, and Corn Gable picks it up, runs the floor, and lays in two of her team high 16. Well, the Yotes trail by nine at half. Head to the third quarter, USD now trailing by 13. When Corn Gable's going to dish to Hannah Shervin, she's going to survey the court, then pull up and knock down the long jumper. She added 10. Coyotes trail 40 to 29. But late in the quarter, the SDSU lead is down to nine, but not for long as Selen is going to earn the hoop and the harm as she scored a game high 17. State by 12, and the Jackrabbits take round one with a 64 45 victory over USD. It's just a, another step towards what we want to accomplish this season and um, a really good win against a really good team here at home and um, there's some things we can learn from it tonight but uh, have to turn around and do it again tomorrow. But we really tried to make sure we understood where we're trying to score, how we're trying to score. And I didn't really see a team that just camped on the three-point line. I, I didn't see a team that just settled for those shots. We had really good looks on the perimeter. They were packing it in the lane and those are shots that we make you know eight times out of ten and so i think tomorrow will be will be a better day for us um from the arc game two between state and the u is set for saturday night at five o'clock